towards the half forward line. O'Reilly coming out, battling away with Warren. Warren is the player to try and break away, but the umpire blowing the whistle. O'Reilly ran back looking for the free kick, but it'll be Warren to get the free. So Warren of um, Preston now plays it under the stand. Up they fly for it. McGaw flew very high, failed to take the mark. Little mark on Gaines' possession. Kicks it over the shoulder, but the player going down on the shoulder was Dick, Dick Annanson. So Annanson, after taking the mark, looks for Swan in the centre. And who's to take the mark but Swan? Marshall not playing too badly after having uh, not playing, uh, played since the about the second game of the season. He's missed 15 so far this season. Up goes Cook, and uh, Cook takes two bites at it to pull in the mark down the Williamstown Road end of the ground. Cosmo, Cosmo's too short for Fred Cook, Phil. That's obvious. Yes, uh, I, they need Hearn down there. As they were too. Doing in the, yes, as they were doing in the first quarter. They'd be better if they uh, put Bulger to full back, who's a much taller player than Cosmo. All right, well, Fred Cook about to fire a shot towards the goals. On its way it goes, and it's through for four points to Port Melbourne.